Hey friends, good morning. It is Friday, July 23rd. Hey, just want to let you know this will be the last devotion until uh, for two weeks until August 4th. Uh, we'll pick it back up. I'll be on vacation. Uh, I'm spending time up in Alaska with my family uh, in Juneau, which is the town we lived in for, for six years and have very fond memories of. And excited to go there and reconnect and, uh, and relax and take a deep breath. Um, but uh, we'll be thinking of of you all and appreciating this time that we have been spending uh, moving through the book of Psalms. I want to encourage you to uh, continue uh, in this rhythm of daily devotion. I hope it's been meaningful to you and we don't want to let that go. And of course we'll pick it back up uh, in August because it seems like it's being well received. Today though we are looking at Psalm 36. Psalm 36. So let's take a moment to quiet our, quiet our, our, our hearts and minds. Uh, so that we can hear uh, from God through this psalm today. Psalm 36. The God rebel tunes into sedition, all ears eager to sin. He has no regard for God. He stands insolent before him. He has smooth-talked himself into believing that his evil will never be noticed. Words gutter from his mouth, dishwater dirty. Can't remember when he did anything decent. Every time he goes to bed, his father's, uh, he fathers an, an, another evil plot. When he's loose on the streets, nobody's safe. He plays with fire and doesn't care who gets burned. God's love is meteoric. His loyalty, astronomic. His purpose, titanic. His verdict's oceanic, yet in his largeness nothing gets lost. Not a man, not a mouse, slips through the cracks. How exquisite your love, O oh God, how eager we are to run under your wings, to eat our fill at the banquet you spread, as you fill our tankards with Eden spring water. You're a fountain of cascading light, and you open our eyes to light. Keep on loving your friends. Do your work in welcoming hearts. Don't let the bullies kick me around. The moral midgets slap me down. Send the upstarts sprawling, flat on their faces in the mud. Again, we're looking at another psalm that sort of uh, compares and contrasts the, the the righteous and the unrighteous. And and again, this is a prayer of deliverance, so to speak. It's a prayer of justice, prayer for justice, uh, a prayer that looks at the ways of the unrighteous, and notices the thriving within that, and says, Lord, what is, what, what, why does this happen? Why does this? Why is this allowed to be? Why do the righteous suffer and the unrighteous thrive in this world? But it's also a psalm that resolves, that comes to a place of assurance, of rest, of, uh, uh, of understanding that God's love is bigger than the brokenness of the world. And so you see this, this verse 5 and 6, which seems to be the center of the psalm itself. God's love is meteoric, meteoric, <laughs> meteor-like. Uh, his loyalty astronomic, purposes titanic, and verdicts oceanic. Nothing gets lost, not a man, not a mouse. And I, I wonder whether that's a word of assurance that you need today in your life. Is there oh, a way that you're feeling the, the overwhelming sense of, uh, of the brokenness of the world in your life? need a reminder of God's greatness and God's love in you, through you, for you. Hope that can be real to you today, to know the truth of that love that is for you. God's love is for, for you. Let's take some time and uh, pray for the day ahead. Please join me. Lord, help us to know the truth of this love that you have extended to us in Christ. Help us to know that you're working in our lives and that there is meaning and purpose embedded deep within it. That we're not chance or circumstance, but that we have been come, we have been placed here to be drawn into, into what you're doing in the world, 
working for the purposes of your kingdom. And we have this great heritage and this great inheritance that every aspect of our life has eternal significance. Lord, we thank you for the ways that you have worked in our lives, the ways that you have drawn us out of the darkness, that we have known We've known in moments those that reality that not a man, not a mouse is lost. That your love encompasses all. That it fulfills the meaning that you had for us. Lord, we want to lift up our prayers to you this morning and come with needs and thanksgivings and praises. And so, friends, I invite you to take few moments to lift up the prayers of your heart today. Lord, hear our prayers. So, Lord, we thank you that you receive our prayers today and always. And we pray that this day that you would lead us, guide us into the places and interactions. You would have us extend your love. Help us to be people who love and serve the Lord Jesus Christ in all we do. And help us to be people who love the people you place in our lives. We pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen. Friends, great to be with you today. Uh, God bless you today. Take care. We'll see you in a couple weeks.